public started saying, hey, President Obama, you have literally hundreds of billions of dollars of places you could be cutting, but you're cutting in places that affect me, hurt me. Right. They overplayed that and hand. Right. So Obama exactly. does it. He's smart. He goes, you know what? Let me see if I can put this fire out a little bit. I'm going to, rep yep. I'm going to unannounced, I'm going to invite 12 Republican senators to show my, show my bipartisanship handshake and across the aisle. And that's the key right there, Eric, because the, the bellyache of the Republicans stopped working. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when he says, I'm inviting these folks in, let's get the dialogue going to people and the low information viewer out there they're thinking oh that looks really good but if his goal truly is as was revealed in the pages of the of the Washington Post two weeks ago to have Nancy Pelosi regain her speaker hammer uh, at the conclusion of next year uh, this is just a tactic where he'll be able to say look I'm getting along with these guys but when things go wrong he can blame the Republicans and I bet you a dollar that's the point But if it was all about sequester then he would uh, put the White House tours back back on. You know, if he really felt like he was feeling the heat with some of these cuts, instead, uh, it appears that the, they will continue. The White House tours will not happen. And things like tuition for people who are on active duty in the military, at least so far for the Army uh, and for the Marines, they will not they will not be able to continue their education right now. Stop saying hashtag. I'm, I'm something, not going something to something over I, I, on my left shoulder. I'm not sure they're not going to open. I think we're going to get them open. I think that eventually... Uh, President Obama and Jay Carney have to listen to what the people are saying. This thing has been trending on and off right. for the last four or five days. It's ridiculous. Kids want to go to the White House. They want to see the White House. They're, they're hurting the kids to make a, a cheap political stunt. You know it's what? It's not it, fair. And, it, they, and they will open. I'm sorry. It, and, and it's not just kids. I mean, you're coming up, up on the cherry blossom season in Washington, D.C. This is the biggest tourist time in Washington. There's going to be a lot of financial pressure. Plus, what's going to happen with the the annual Easter egg roll, we've heard that they're going to go ahead and have that. So how does that work? Okay, we're closed, we're closed. We're open one day, we're closed, we're closed. Come on, they're going to cave. And now Watch. Rangers and some of the park services, they claim that their supervisors push sequester cuts that visitors, so that visitors would notice. You know, this was the argument that we were making last week on the show was have they cherry-picked, speaking of cherry blossoms, have they cherry-picked some of these cuts to make them more painful and more public more publicity for the public see where these cuts are happening, high-profile places. You know, if they made the cuts in some fishery down south, people probably wouldn't hear about it. Mm -hmm. Fish inspections, meat inspections, but they hear about these things. Mm -hmm. Here's one of those people. When the government goes to sort of close the most important rather than the least important functions as a way to try to get budget back, there's a term for it. It's actually called the closing the Washington Monument ploy. I mean, the one agency that really gets great polling from the public is the national parks. So there's a long history of using the national parks politically during these budget fights. And why the Park Service would be getting hit by for more rather than sort of taking out some layer of management in, in the Department of Interior makes little sense to me. But we shouldn't be surprised. I mean, look what the White House did. The White House of all the things they could have cut costs in their own cost cutting, they closed tours so they could dominate the news cycle for a couple of news cycles with disappointed sixth graders on TV. Just remember, we're talking about a, a two and a half percent cut. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. But pennies on the dollar. But but look what we had in in the last couple of days. Last week we had the Department of Agriculture leaking. Mm -hmm. Someone leaked an, an email saying, "Hey, don't make the sequester cuts look good. Make them look as, at least as bad." Us. Right? Don't contradict what we've been saying. Then you have the Park Service, the Park Rangers coming out saying, "Hey, they, they told us to do it where the public feels it the most, and then the White House." I mean, honestly, this this is jumping. The White House has jumped the shark, inflicting pain for maximum political gain. Yeah. It looks like. Let us know what you think about that.